Hello, today we are going to learn how to construct a square equal in area to a given rectangle. This process is based on the altitude geometric mean theorem. C squared is equal to A times B. We say that two quadrilaterals are equivalent if they have the same area. So here we can see the given rectangle with sides A and B, whose area is A multiplied by B. We are looking for a side C when squared is equal to A multiplied by B, which satisfies the altitude geometric mean theorem. We are going to name the two extreme points of the base A, M and N, as can be seen here in the video. So the first step is to elongate the base A to the right, as shown here, and setting our compass on point N and to the length of the side of the rectangle B, we are going to scribe an arc to the right transporting the length of the side onto the elongated line and forming a new point O, as can be seen here. So the next step is to work out the perpendicular bisector of the line segment MO in order to obtain its midpoint. So to do this, setting our compass on point M, and with a radius slightly longer than MO, we scribe an arc to the right, as shown here. And now, with the same radius and setting the compass on point O, we're going to scribe another arc until it cuts our previously drawn arc at two points, as can be seen here. And now, with our ruler, we draw a line joining these two intersections, and where it cuts, the line segment MO, this is the midpoint, which we will call P. Okay, so now the next step with the compass set on midpoint P and with the radius PM, we are going to draw a semicircle as, as shown here. To continue, we are going to elongate the right side of the rectangle with a thicker line until it cuts the previously drawn semicircle at a new point Q. And this line segment NQ is the side of the square that we are looking to draw. So now we are going to use the compass to locate the other two vertices of this square. So now, setting the compass on point N and with a length NQ, which is the side of our square, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts the line segment MN at the third vertices of our square. Okay, and to locate the fourth and final vertices, setting the compass on this new intersection and with the same radius, we scribe an arc above as shown here. And now finally, with the compass set on point Q, we scribe another arc to the left until it cuts our previously drawn arc at the final vertices of our square. as can be seen here. And the final step is with a thicker line to join these three vertices, remaining vertices. Okay, so here's parallel to QN. We draw the second side of our square. And now we complete the square, joining Q to the top of this line. So here we have a square which has the same area as the given rectangle at the start of the drawing. So I hope this drawing has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Until the next time.